Hello friends, I recently found out in Microsoft Open, so I thought I could make something of it because it wasn't working. So I took it apart and I got these parts. This is a high power cable that can help us to operate high power tools such as this microwave oven transformer as I found this in that same oven and this is a 1050 watt rated transformer and I got this high powered capacitor and a motor and a big fan and a couple of big magnets they are so powerful just a heads up while you are breaking an oven be careful to short circuit the capacitor first because they are very dangerous okay now let me start with my project by using the transformer I made a spot welder now I just use it as a melter but you know you by using some copper lugs you can make it a spot welder hello guys this is my new spot welder I just made out of new microwave oven transformer and here it is I took it out of a 1070 watt rated oven now I'm gonna show you how I made this I just scrapped out the secondary out of the transformer then I put this new thick secondaries which are high current wires they can handle more than 400 amps now here you can see I have made these wires myself and you can buy it in stores too just I have used some 3 rounds of wires so I can get less volts and higher amps so that I can weld spot weld the metals the higher amperage gives a lot of heat which is used to melt the metal and the metal is the, the metal acts just like a resistor and the resistance provides the heat because the current pro current is fricted so the metal gets heated and we have the welding now I'm going to turn on the power and show you some welding These are some high amp sparks. You can see it definitely does melt the iron. It's so hot. You can see the metal needs thousand degrees and it's crossing the limit. It's clear. Practically is now a metal melder. You can use some copper lugs to make it a spot welder. Please be careful doing these experiments.